In this short video, I'm going to provide a brief introduction and explanation to the Little's Law. The Little's Law is a building block of queuing theory. Let's take a look at what the Little's Law is about first. Okay, the formula of Little's Law looks very simple and straightforward. I equals T times R. I is the average number of customers in a system or the average inventory. Capital T, often called the average flow time or flow time, is the average time a customer spends in the system. Capital R is the average customer arrival rate. Little's law can be applied to a stable system in which the average customer arrival rate is equal to the average customer departure rate. For convenience, we call R the average flow rate or simply flow rate. Simply put, this is what the Little's law says. The average inventory or the average number of customers in the system is equal to the average flow time times the average flow rate. Even simpler, inventory equals flow time times flow rate. We are not going to prove the Little's Law mathematically. Instead, we will look at a simple example and hopefully it will help us understand how the Little's Law comes about. The state university has a stable, well-established MBA program. On average, it takes an MBA student two years to graduate. And on average, the state U enrolls 100 MBA students per year. Assume that there's no dropout. The question is, on average, how many students are there in the MBA program at the state U? Well, this is a very simple question. We can answer this question without a little slide at all. Let's think about it. On average, every year we get 100 students into our MBA program. And on average, on uh, this day, in the program for two years before they graduate. So we are going to have about or on average 100 first year MBA students. Similarly, we have another 100 second year MBA students. To sum it up, in total we have on average 200 MBA students in the program at the state year. That's our answer, 200. Now, let's see how the Little's Law works in this case. And we know that, on average, it takes a student two years to graduate. And this is nothing but our flow time or average flow time. On the other hand, every year, the state U enrolls on average 100 MBA students. And that is our flow rate or customer arrival rate. You can think of MBA students as our customer of state U. So, on average, how many students do we have in the MBA program currently? Well, let's apply Little's Law. We are looking for I, the inventory, which is equal to flow time times the flow rate, that is. 100 times 2, 200. So the conclusion is simple. On average, the state U should have 200 MBA students in the program right now. 